Getting you one final look at current conditions outside right now as we kick off this Friday afternoon. A little bit of a temperature spread, low to mid 70s as you get up into the hill country. Still 74 right now here in San Antonio. 80 degrees though, the current temperature off to our south in Pleasanton. We'll reach for the upper 70s later on this afternoon, monitoring for a few rumbles of thunder out west tonight. Then grab the umbrella by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, but really you're not going to need it as we head into the back half for the weekend and early next week with a brief stretch of cooler than average temperatures and low humidity. Thank you, Mia. And Fiesta continues. Yeah, we've got medals, we've got oysters, and we've got <laughs> parties all over town. It's the first weekend of Fiesta. Be safe, have fun. SA Live starts right, right now. It's Fiesta's most awesome event. We meet the local pup who will be queen, how she got this incredible honor, and how you can watch the coronation happen. Shucks, the oysters have arrived. We'll tell you everything you need to know if you're coming to the Fiesta Oyster Bake. They're going from the truck to the pit, and we've got everything you need to know. Hey guys, we're out here at a secret location that we're going to be revealing in just a little bit for the Texas Eats Fiesta Medal giveaway today. And we got a big crowd right behind us. What's going on, everybody? So stick around right here on SA Live. It's going to get wild. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Good afternoon, everybody. It is the first weekend of Fiesta, and we are definitely getting the party started out here at beautiful historic Market Square with Fiesta de los Reyes. I'm Mike Osterhage. Fiona is going to be joining me in just a couple of minutes. Oh, my gosh. All the people out here, Viva Fiesta! Everybody's having a fun time. We are going to learn more about all of the history and everything going on here at Market Square coming up in just a couple of minutes. And of course, we are pulling out all the stops. We have got folks all over the city, everywhere. Fiona, David, Jen, we've got everything covered as much as we can. But let's get started right now with Fiona at Hops and Hounds for a very, very special occasion. It is the crowning of some royalty. A pause and pups. Fiona, what's going on? Thanks, Mike. We are here at Hops and Hounds in downtown where they're getting ready to roll out the rough carpet for doggy royalty. <laughs> and Kim Hinzi, Director of Community Engagement for the San Antonio Humane Society, joins me to tell us about the coronation of probably the cutest and let's face it, easiest to work with a right. Fiesta royalty, right? Right, because they can't <laughs> talk back. So, um, no, we're super excited um, to have El Rey Fido in the court. And so tomorrow we'll be out here here at Hops and Hounds and you can come out and celebrate with us. So who is going to be have the honor of being El Rey Fido oh. 2024? El Rey Fido is a is a queen this year and it is Boo. So Boo is our El Rey Fido. Boo raised um, uh, almost $7,000 for the organization and we're super excited to to crown her tomorrow. And every queen needs a court, right? Every queen does need a court, right? right? We have our princess of the food bowl, Jixer. We have our duchess of the chew toy, Tootie. We have our knight of the royal court is Thunder. And we also have our uh, duke of the fire hydrant, Mushu. And so how does the doggy become El Rey Fido or a member of the court? Uh, so uh, how they become a member is they can fundraise for us. So our fundraising competition starts in September and the dogs that raise the most money, of course, the one that raises the most is El Rey Fido, and then the others are on their court. Okay, so Melissa here is El Rey Fido's owner, and so how does it feel to have Boo be El Rey Fido? It feels fantastic, and also to have the opportunity to work as an ambassador to raise money and awareness is just an amazing feeling. And so how did Boo celebrate? Well, she chased her tail, leaped for joy, got some <laughs> treats, and she went and got her nails done. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Melissa. Now, the actual coronation is happening tomorrow here at Hops and Hounds, right? Tell me about all the fun happening. Yes. So we'll be here tomorrow at Hops and Hounds. They are our host venue, and you can come out. It starts at 10 a.m. It is a family-friendly, dog-friendly event. Um, there will be specialty drinks named after the court. So come on out. Try to arrive early um, for parking, but we cannot wait to see everybody here. 
And there will be other Fiesta royalty there too. Yes, so El Rey Feo is going to be crowning El Rey Fido. So <laughs> El Rey Feo will be coming. Um, we also have Dance of Vitas that will be here. So lots of good activity. And this is a fundraiser, of course. It Tell is. me how this helps out the Humane Society. So all the funds that are raised by our court and their hard work go back to help the dogs and the cats of our shelter. So whether it's medical, to help with any type of expenses from there, to help with food, anything like that, all the proceeds benefit the pets at our shelter. So how did El Rey Fido get started? Uh, El Rey Fido got started in uh, 2002. It was just a fun little spin, and we wanted to have um, our court. So we have these beautiful groves, as you can see, and then um, just having El Rey Feo crown El Rey Fido. <laughs> it's too <laughs> cute. All right, so if people want to come to the coronation, what do they need to know? Come on out. Come on out early. We'll be here at uh, 10 a.m. is when it will take place. So it is a dog-friendly uh, event. So come on out with dogs and kids. All right, Kim Hinsey, thank you so much. Now, the coronation of El Rey Fido is happening tomorrow right here at Hops and Hounds. It starts at 10 a.m. and is free and open to the public. And, of course, congratulations to the El Rey Fido and her court. We are going to send it back to you there at Market Square. Thank you very much, Fiona. Hop in a very fast Uber so you can get over here. Well, of course, the pets are absolutely adorable and everybody's got adorable pets. Of course, we dress them up for Fiesta, so we want to see all of your adorable pet pictures. Send them on in here. Scan that QR code right there on your screen and hopefully we get a chance to see a few of them coming up a little bit later on in the show. All right. Fiesta, all about the medals. I have been so blessed to have so many folks send me in medals and you want to collect them too. You don't have much time left to get the much coveted, cherished 2024 Texas Eats medal. And David Elder is out at Ikea right now with a huge crowd. Get ready to pass out some of those great medals. What's going on, David? Hey, Mike, what's going on? We got a big crowd out here at Ikea. What's going on, everybody? We got the Texas Eats 2024 Fiesta medals. We got the K-Stack crew over here with us as well. And y'all, real quick before we get going, because I want to ask everybody how they Fiesta. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. We got people over here too. What's up, everybody? <laughs> y'all, it is popping. You guys, we got meatballs. We had elderflower berry juice. We were so delicious out here at Ikea. We're also going to be talking with them in a little bit about all the deals that you can have when you come out here and you sign up for their loyalty program. But we're going to go down the line real quick. So how do you fiesta? Meeting new friends. They just planned that right now. Meeting new friends is going. How do you fiesta? Anytime, anywhere, any place. And you have a shout out, right? Oh, yeah. I have a shout out to all the troops out of Camp Bullard. Woo. Let's Woo. give it up for the troops, y'all. Give it up for the troops. All right, how do you fiesta? Just collecting the medals. Oh, medal collector. All right, how do you fiesta? Margarita. <laughs> Margaritas is a great answer. Okay, how do you fiesta? Chicken on a stick. Oh, chicken on a stick. Okay, so how do you fiesta? Oh, David Elder, coming to you. Oh, oh, let's go. That's, that's where you go. It's another fiesta. We got the big party over here. We got to take it back from them, though, because you got to wait because the giveaway starts at 2 o'clock. You guys, we still have a couple more medals to give away, so make sure you come out here. You get a wristband, get some meatballs, come hang out with us at Ikea in Live Oak. We got the map up. You guys see the address. We got the party going on. How y'all feeling right now? We've got giveaways, we've got medals, and we got a big party, we got food, and we'll be seeing you guys in just a little bit here on SA Live to talk about all the deals out here at Ikea. Let's go, y'all. Viva Fiesta! David, I think we need to have a contest. Who's got the louder crowd behind him there? I, I have a feeling you're going to win right now. We're going to check in with you in just a couple of minutes. All right, it is called the epicenter of the... Made it. Wow, you've got the it. fastest Uber I made in the it. world. I know, I put it on your tab. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my I'm gosh, sure thank you tipped you. well. Thank you. All right. It is the epicenter of Fiesta here at Market Square. Fiesta de los Reyes, of course, has kicked off today. We have food booths, we have vendors, we have lots of people, and we have Frank Garza, who is the oh, chairman okay. of Fiesta de la Garza for 13 Fiesta de los Reyes, pardon me, for 13 years, and Letty Herrera to tell us all about it. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta. Viva. Viva Fiesta! So tell us all about Fiesta de los Reyes. Well, first of all, it's the only 10-day event 
that's free for the public. You can grab a chair, put it in front of a stage, one of our stages, four stages, and just sit there and listen to music. And breakfast, lunch, and dinner, basically. Basically, but hey, go eat the food because you gotta have this food. Okay. <laughs> all right. Tell us all about the food. The food is fabulous. We're gonna start with everything. We've got mini tacos. The whole boss is full of food. You can walk from one end to the other and you'll eat whatever you want. We have mini tacos for dessert. We've got some funnel cakes. We've got gorditas. My favorite, uh, chicken on a stick, ribbon fries, and I can't see where we are, but oh. we've got enchiladas. We've got enchiladas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. They're all delicious. Everything is fresh. And waiting for you guys to come. And of course, the entertainment too, right? Oh, of course. Yes. We've got four stages uh, with some of the best Tejano bands, some of the best. we got the Spasmatics coming on Tuesday for college night to get the other crowd, crowds out here. So it's just four days of stages, four days of fun, four days of entertainment. So Tuesday, of course, college nights. Monday nights, what's going on? Monday's Military Monday. That's a special day for Military City USA. It's our way of honoring our military. So every food booth that has a flag, military, current and past military, will get a discount for fruit. And I don't know if a lot of people know, but this is all affiliated with the El Rey Vail Consejo Education Foundation. So a lot of money goes to help a lot of folks with education. This is our 13th year, like you mentioned. We've raised over $3 million for scholarships and to support our king for that, that time period. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, you can only pick one. Yep, which one is it? I know what your, your answer is. Mine is a chicken on a stick. Well. Uh, what about you, Phil? I gotta go with the gorditas. <laughs> <laughs> the closest sausage on a stick around here, it disappeared. And I, 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 think that, I think that's the last I saw it on your desk. Oh, really? It was. I, I saw it there. I like that. So, about how many different vendors are out here, food booths, and, and then you can literally buy anything that you need for BS out here as well. We have over 40 food booths and about 40 non food booths. And this year, we've expanded Milan Park. So not only are we here at Market Square, you also have the ability to go to Milan Park where we also have entertainment. Okay, and of course, you can't, oh, there's the sausage on the stick. There it is. <laughs> and of course, you can't forget about the pets. We yes. have all sorts of items. You have little uh, neckerchiefs for the pets here. Oh, I just did, you, did, you, did you just pick that one at I random? Pick this one at random. Totally random. I, I may have to get Shocking. this one for Bosco here. So. <laughs> Thank, Thank you all. You. Yeah, thank you. And oh let me God. please give you one of our oh, Fiesta yes, Dos Reyes medals. Oh, and so for you. As well. and one for you as well. Thank you kindly. Yes. I appreciate that. Well, Fiesta de los Reyes, of course, is going on now through Sunday the 28th, as he mentioned. Free for 10 days. It starts started this morning here in Historic Market Square. And for more information, of course, you can go to SA.com, click on the SA Live tab, or just scan the QR code. All right. Now, last night, we had the honor of hosting Fiesta Fiesta on stage there at the HEB Plaza at the yep. Alamo Dome. First time there. Great venue. There's the cutting of the ties, the breaking the cost of with the mayor, as well as the Fiesta Royalty. And the folks out there, of course, are just fantastic. Oh yeah, look at that line. They came out to get medals, get pictures. Look at that gentleman. He was after my own heart with how organized and straight those yeah, medals wins, were. Wins the prize for the best yeah. uh, metal sash. And this hat that the she incredible made hats. was absolutely gorgeous. Folks had such a great time. Of course, there was the parade of all of the, the People's folks, Parade. The People's Parade, which went right in front of the stage. As you can see, right some there. of the folks there. And it's just such a fun time. People had a great time. The weather was very hot and humid, but it did cooperate, of course. Yeah, such a great time. And of course, all leading up oh, to yeah. the entertainment that night, the and Air Force Band of the West. Yep, and we also, the, the crowd is always really good because they helped us out as far as getting some really good video. So take a look at this. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I think that's always my highlight. Yeah, I know, too, so. you love doing that. You know, you mentioned about the, the uh, Air Force Band of the West who have graced us with their presence on the show many times. They were a lot of the entertainment. And the, and the National Anthem. Uh, young lady Staff Sergeant uh, Griffith out there, new to town. She and her husband just moved yeah. here. And first of all, I still, it, it just gives you chills. Her rendition acapella was something to, to behold. But explaining Fiesta to a newcomer, yeah. I said, when you're done, I'll give you your medals. She's like, what? What what medals? Medals? I yeah. said, grab a chicken on a stick. 
What? What's that? Yeah. Grab all this stuff. So it was a lot of fun. She had a great time. Like yeah. I said, did a fantastic job. And thank you again for letting us MC that event. It's so much fun out there. So. All right. 108 years of oysters, music, and family fun. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is live with a preview of this year's Fiesta Oyster Bank. But first, we're just days away from Ravel on the River. What you need to know about the River Parade, and we learn about some of the stars of the show. That's next. And mark your calendars. After the Battle of Flowers Parade is the SA Live After Party, we are teaming up with KSAT's Lee Waldman and fellow meteorologist Mia Montgomery for some wild and wacky Fiesta games. You don't want to miss this television event. That's next Friday, right after the Battle of Flowers Parade. More SA Live from Market Square is on the way. Well, Viva Fiesta, everybody. We are, of course, just days away from the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. The theme this year is Viva America, Great American Landmarks. And just like our American landmarks, it is definitely a sight to behold. If you've never been down there for this parade, it is, just, it is so wonderful, so special. And here with us today are Vice Marshal uh, Trey Steves and Operations Officer L.C. De Longoria. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for having us. All right, it is just a few days away. Are you all set? And by the way, who's the Grand Marshal? It's Willem Beckman, country music star from Del Rio, Texas. Okay, and everything's all in place? We're we, we got the yes, boats sir. in the water, they're decorating them now. It's a lot of new stuff to see, we're excited about it. All right, and bigger and better than ever too, right? Absolutely, yeah. a whole lot of new effects that uh, I'm looking forward to our people seeing. And then how many entries now? Isn't it added on to even last year? Even longer, we have over 60 floats. Okay, now, Charitable Honoree, how are they selected, who is it? Uh, the Charitable Honoree is the Texas Cavaliers Education Center at the Alamo, and we spend uh, a tremendous amount of time thinking about where we could best apply uh, our efforts and resources to make an impact on our community. So uh, we're going to have hundreds of thousands of kids going through that education center when they visit the Alamo every year. Okay, and of course the Cavaliers then spend days lining the river with all the chairs so you can get a, a <laughs> front row seat. Still tickets available? Still tickets available, available on the website, Texas Cavaliers org as well as 21022 River. Okay, somebody who's brand new to town, never seen this before, how do you describe the River Parade in one sentence? Oh, it's a uh, cultural extravaganza. You've got to come down. The, the air is electric. It's okay. really spectacular. It is going to be fantastic. All right, we've got a little game to play just because it is Fiesta. What the heck? So, we have some Fiesta medals. By the way, here's our SA Live oh, Fiesta medal for each one of you gentlemen. Thank you. And remember Bozo, the game? Well, we got a little bit of a uh, toss here. So, see if you can make it into the buckets here. We'll see who's better between the wow. Okay. Great evening. I'm going to try this too. So. I might be uh, cheating leaning, you know. I know. He's got the, he's got the long reach. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very good. Go. Go ahead, here. buddy. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, I hope I can better shot do it shooting fast <laughs> these days. Oh, there you. we go. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you got to catch up. Okay. Oh, Ooh, what a burger for you, almost. Yeah. Oh, oh almost wait, had it. Wait, we have to get, we have to get one more because you and I have there to have a uh, there you go. We, we, shoot we got some over here. So. All right. All right. We got a couple great. more. We got to yeah. go for it. So last time, who's going to be the champion? Yes! <laughs> she just hit the last one. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. One more. One more. There we go. There we go. Go, on, right. go for it. Go for it. Blam. We got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to Ted for blocking that shot. Don't forget the Texas Cavaliers River Parade is coming up this Monday. Of course, you can buy your tickets right now by calling 210-22-RIVER. That's 210-227-4837. Visit the website texascavaliers.org. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being we'll here. See you on the river. Viva Fiesta. Yeah. Have a great day. And the weather's going to be fantastic for it as well. Couldn't All be right. Better. It's the first week at a fiesta. Have you picked out which events you're going to be hitting up? We have a roundup of the hottest things happening around town that you do not want to miss. And we're going to start with one of the best events. Did someone say rib cook off? Oh, yes. Where this free meat lovers festival is happening and what you need to know if you want to go. That's straight ahead on SA Live. is going on all over the city, including the east side. 
all right, where they're getting ready for the St. Philip's College Culture Fest and Rib Cook-Off. And guess what? The event is free. And here with everything you need to know before you go is George H. Johnson III, Interim Vice President for College Services, and their mascot, Phil the Tiger! Right, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Okay, so what can folks expect at Culture Fest this year? Well, we are the largest official fiesta event on the east side of San Antonio. There will be admissions, rides, there'll be opportunity to park, all for free. Uh -huh. We start off the parade with a, a parade of, of uh, flags, if you will, and the flags represent the cultures of the people here at St. Philip's College. We also have one other special event that's going to take place, and that is we will have live music. Our live music, in particular, we're going to be highlight Finding Fridays. Love them! We yes. have had them on the show and they are so good. So they Sam are definitely Houston band. Oh, that too! The car show uh -huh. and we will have food and non food and non food vendors mm -hmm. as well as we'll have um, opportunities for all the members of the community to participate. And how can they participate? Well, there's an opportunity to come in and participate in the rib cook-off mm -hmm. and the rib cook-off by chance will allow for people to submit one rack of ribs and that type that we're dealing with this year will be pork. After that um, we'll have first, second and third place as well as bragging rights and we've decided to add one little twist this year and that is the dessert competition. Okay. There'll be three categories, cream, custard and also fruit that will be managed by our culinary arts students. And what we're looking at right now is part of a raffle, right? Tell yes. me about those grills. Hey, we have three grills that we'll be raffling off for scholarship dollars. They were all created. They're unique from our students out at our Southwest campus in our welding program. And you have a medal too. Yes, we have a medal. We are excited about our medal. It's, uh, it actually lights up and it actually flashes as well. Yes, look yes, at that. Yes, they're perfect, they're very perfect. Okay, and what's new for later this year? Well, later this year in the fall semester we will be highlighting the implementation of our first baccalaureate degree. That is a Bachelor's of Applied Technology in Cybersecurity. And we're really excited about that. And how can the community get involved in the programming if they want to get involved? Well, during Culture Fest, we'll have from 10 to noon in our William Allen Hudgens um, gym the opportunity for members of the community to come in and learn about all the programming that's available at St. Phillips College. At that open house. Okay, yes. and I've got a question for you, Phil. Do you have a go-to mascot move? <laughs> hey, it's like your dance, Mike. <laughs> Better. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Once again, the St. Phillips College Culture Fest and Rib Cook-Off is happening next Thursday, April 25th at St. Phillips College MLK campus. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And again, admission is free. free. For more information, just call 210-486-2135 or visit the website on your screen. George, Bill, thank you so much. Thank you. Look. All right, the oysters are cooking. Wait, is there a pearl in there, Joe? No, I don't oh, think so. Oh, we're looking for the pearl. Oh, Look at that. Oyster. There we go. Somebody might try this. Hey, we're going to let you know everything you need to know if you're coming out to the Fiesta Oyster Bake. Look, I got a medal, too. Stay with us. And let's take a quick look at our community calendar to help you plan out your first weekend of Fiesta. Fiesta de los Niños is happening tomorrow at the Boeing Center at Tech Fork starting at 10 a.m. It's free admission, free parking, and free interactive activities all day. There will be music, rides, food, and a friendly gaming and eSports competition. Fiesta Castle Hills is also happening tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Commons at Castle Hills. There's going to be a community parade, petting zoo, local vendors to shop from, and of course, plenty of good food and drinks. It's pet friendly and free and open to the public. The Chili Queens cook-off is another free event. It's happening Sunday at the Bonham Exchange. It starts at 3 p.m. There will be chili samples and you can vote for your favorite. And of course, Monday is the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Now that parade, along with the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau parades, are all going to be broadcast live on KSAT 12, KSAT.com, and KSAT Plus. Just scan that QR code for Fiesta events. KSAT is your official Fiesta station. There's more fun on the way, so don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a two-day festival serving up 100,000 oysters and featuring over 30 bands. If you can believe it, it is the 108th year for the Oyster Bake. And I didn't know this, uh -huh. former Rattler herself, Jen Tobias Strusky, is of course out there and shucking away. That is right, yes, I feel, you know, I'm going thrown back to my college days here. Yes, I have Cynthia Pena, the co-chair, joining me now. Viva Fiesta. Viva Fiesta, and yes. We have oysters cooking. I have to ask you, how do you know when they're ready? To know that how they're ready is, if you can look at this one right here, it's bubbling, and then they start popping open, and that means they're ready. So once yeah. they bubble up, we take them out, open them up, you shuck them open, oh, that's why we have go. Shucky, our yes. mascot. Yes. And then you take them in and you can have them with uh, crackers or with the cocktail sauce. So we have both here. I may try that here at the end. Thank you, Joe. There's Joe, gotta give him a shout out too because he's manning the oysters. Here. Yes. So <laughs> let's let everybody know what they need to know. If they plan to come out, the gates open at five, right? They open at five, we close at 11. All the bands will start a few minutes after five. They'll be going, they're already arriving so they're here they yes. can't wait to perform for y'all um, make sure you wear comfortable clothes because we don't want anyone to get hurt or anything yes. and you don't want your feet to be sore at the no. end of the day I know you want you to know? look cute ladies okay. but you know comfortable <laughs> shoes yes. yes and 108 and, years right? yes it's been 108 wow. years since we've been having oyster bake we sell about a hundred thousand pounds of oysters every year wow to think how far back it goes and uh, I know we have some video that can show those black and white photos to show you guys, like way back when it was along the river and, yes. then, and then seeing people enjoy that. And that's one of the, this is one of the longest running of Fiesta events, right? It has, and I think we are one of the largest Fiesta events. We have over 70,000 patrons come and visit us every year. Wow, and how many volunteers? We have 7,000 volunteers. And can you believe it? People eat 35,000 chicken on a sticks. You know can what? You I actually can believe that. Because <laughs> I love chicken. But that's a lot. That's a lot of chicken on a sticks and, there. And uh, what is it, 100,000 oysters? 100,000 pounds of oysters that we sell. So yes, that that's a lot of oysters. Wow. Wow, if you're coming out, here's a few details that you need to know, right? A one day pass is $25, but you can also get a two day pass for $35. Now, once you leave, you can't come back in, so right. keep that in mind. And there is some on-campus parking. There, there is a very limited on-campus parking, so we suggest you do park and ride. And then if you do park and ride, you'll get a free soda, water, or uh, energy drink. So that's great. a great deal. Yes, yes, and then also 100% of the proceeds go back to the students. Yes, we give about $500,000 every year in scholarships. Wow. And when you get that scholarship, it's not just for one year, it's a four-year scholarship. Wow. So every year to give that, it's a blessing to all those students. Yes, and this is also, you can hear music in the background. This is a music festival as well. How many different stages? We have four different stages, and we have one that's all DJs, but we have four different stages. We have rock stage, we have country, we have Tejano, and we have hip hop. All the music you can think of. All right, a great time again, five o'clock. All right, what's the best way to eat this? I'm gonna try to grab this while I send it back. Oh, he's got Tabasco. Oh, yes, okay. we got Tabasco. Okay, they're gonna help me out Depending here. on how you like it. Okay, <laughs> let me toss it back to you guys. There we go. All right, there we go. A little, little bit of sauce on there. And... Okay. Tabasco might be too hot. Oh. Viva Fiesta. Yes, there we <laughs> Thank go. You. Thank you, Jen. All right, well, SA Live is all over the Alamo City. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's head out to the northeast side and David Elder, hey there. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? <laughs> Y'all, we got the crowd out here. Ikea is popping. We got everybody behind us. Mike, I don't know, this is a pretty loud crowd, but when we come back, we got more information about Ikea. The metal giveaway starts at two o'clock. We're gonna see you back here in just a little bit. What's going on? Come back again. Hey, are you seeing cracks around your home and driveway? It could be the signs of some bigger problems. What you need to watch out for and how you can save money on repairs. Don't go anywhere, you're watching SA Live. And don't forget to weigh in on our question of the day. Show us your Fiesta pet pics. Just scan that QR code and cue the cuteness. Have you 
you ever looked at those cracks in your sidewalk, driveway, patio, maybe there's uneven surfaces or even pooling water, you may be avoiding these types of problems because you don't want to fix all that concrete, but you might not have to. Here with a more cost-effective solution is Jade Owens, who is the Director of Operations with Baird Foundation Repair. Good to see you, Jade. Good to see you. All right, what causes concrete to crack, sink, and just look ugly? There's two main issues that we see. The first is the soil that's underneath the concrete. Um, so it can wash out, it can just be really weak soil. And so over time, the concrete doesn't actually have anything supporting it. You'll see big voids where it's just, you can put your hand through it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second thing we see is that it just wasn't poured correctly, right? It's uh, lacking rebar or some of those um, basic things to really build strong, long-lasting concrete. Or they might've used a bad mix or something like exactly. that. So, so replacing concrete, of course, you think can be really expensive because you got to tear up the old and put down the new. So what solutions do you have more budget friendly? Yeah, so what we offer is um, a product called polyurethane. It's a polyurethane foam and will actually lift and level the concrete. So um, we inject it into the concrete and um, it hardens to actually help fill those voids um, between the ground and the concrete um, and compacts it a lot better. So then that's going to take it up. So if you have like, you know, it's looking like this, it's going to bring it back up level and maybe just fill that little crack right there and you're almost good as new, right? Yep, exactly. Okay, now does that last a long time? Yes, it does. Um, so this foam, um, it, I think it actually can last up to like 250 years or something really crazy like that um, because it's not, um, it won't shrivel up in the heat or anything like that if it is exposed. Um, it is, is built to last. So then what's the insulation of this look like, the whole process? Yeah. Uh, so what we do is we drill uh, pea-sized holes into the concrete and then we inject that polyurethane foam um, through the concrete and it, it expands as it's hitting that surface. Um, so. Um, within you know just seconds it gets really really hard and that's what forms that. So it can be a driveway, a sidewalk, a patio, anything right? Yes, okay. yep, any concrete surface. How can folks uh, at home take advantage of this cost-effective solution? Yeah, so give us a call. We have trained experts that will come out and help assess the situation. Every driveway, sidewalk, patio is different and so we'll be able to tell you you know exactly what it'll take to fix it um, and not just with the foam but also with some other um, sealers and, and topical sealants to provide that uh, proactive longevity of the yeah. concrete as okay, well. Okay, and another enticement is she's got a great deal too. Yes, yeah, so uh, let us know that you saw us here on SA Live and we'll give you $250 off that proposal. Fantastic, all right, don't forget to mention SA Live to get $250 off your final proposal price with Baird Foundation Repair. They also offer a military discount. Just give them a call at 210-53-BAIRD. That's 210-532-2473. And for more information, visit the website, Go Baird go.com. Jay, great information. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, coming up, we're out here at Ikea in Live Oak. We got the party out here. What's going on? We got the SM Metal giveaways going on. You guys, it's so fun out here. At 2 o'clock, we're giving them away, and we're going to learn more about Ikea coming up in just a little bit. Viva Fiesta! Welcome back to SA Live. Well, David Ellers out there at IKEA at 1000 IKEA RBFCU Parkway over there on I-35 North in Live Oak. Getting ready to hand out some of those. Coming in Texas Eats Metals. And you know, the last time we saw you, David, the crowd in the background, this crowd has settled a little bit, so I think your crowd wins the medal. <laughs> I think so too. They've been great. And you know what? They've been fantastic today. You guys, they, they, when we need them to be a little quiet, we need them to get loud. They've been awesome. And joining us right now from Ikea is Janelli Salcedo Castrejana, the loyalty manager out here. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming out. We're having a blast. Thank you so much. This is a big party out here. I'm lo loving it. Every minute we'll get our medals. We got you. It's going to be a big old party, a big old fiesta. I love it. You guys are ready for fiesta. You actually, right. You've actually partnered with KSAT to provide us with the best seat in the house for the parade, right? That's right. So with uh, KSAT and the KSAT at Insiders, we are making sure that some folks have the best seats in the house for the parade with our Namaro collection, which is some of our outdoor collection. You'll be sitting in style, watching the parade, kicking back, having a good old time. And that's what's right next to us, right? So yeah. talk to us about what you got over here. You guys decorated this thing fast, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you know, we work pretty fast around here. It's those little Swedish gnomes that come in and out. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, so this is our Namaro collection. It is a new lower price. So if last year you, you saw it and you were like, oh, it's a little bit out of my budget, come back. I promise you we have this and so many more things on new lower price. You can come and see. It's a beautiful collection with acacia wood that is uh, 
seated for the outside. It's perfect. It's beautiful. We'll have a few more um, uh, de decorations and details over at Fiesta, but you can make your own patio or uh, pa your own paradise at home. Whatever, what have you got? A balcony patio, backyard, whatever. We got you covered. You do. I love the colors out here. I love I love the style that you guys set up right here for us as well. I mean, even the plants. We have some people in line hiding behind the plants as well back over here. But you guys know how to do a party right because we have meatballs coming out here. It was like an elderberry juice, right? Yes. Did you know that there's elder elderflower? Elderflower. And we're in Sweden, so it's like you know you're you're right at home here yeah. at IKEA. That's right. No, it's been fantastic. And thank you so much for having us out here and being for a wonderful partner with KSAT. We just love working with you guys. And of course, when you come out to IKEA today at two o'clock, we have some medals still left. So if you can make it out here, we still have some left. Two o'clock is when we start giving them away, and you can see the address, everything, the full screens up on the te television right now. Come on out to IKEA and Live Oak. Walk around the store, go shopping, grab some food, and of course, come out to party. Janelli, thank you so much. You. And we got a big party going on over here, right? Y'all, they've been so patient. They've been holding on, y'all. But it is popping. It is a blast out here. Ikea, what's going on, everybody? Viva Fiesta. We're going to keep the party going. We got a lot of music and a lot to do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If we could just bottle the energy of those right. metal giveaway crowds, oh right. my goodness gracious. Tell them we said hi, David. Thank Look you. Look at those folks. I love that. What's up, everybody? Mike says hi. All right, coming up Monday at SA Live, we are getting you ready for the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. What to expect at the Arneson River Theater, and we learn about the salute to military fiesta at IBC Plaza. KSAT is going to be broadcasting the River Parade live Monday night starting at 7 p.m., followed by our SA Live after party live from Market Square. So don't miss the fun Monday right here on KSAT 12. Sabrina. Oh, look at oh, the bandana. Yeah. He's smiling. See, I think a bandana would look great on Rock, on Bosco. And this is Jax, Viva Fiesta, and Jax is is ready to cheers. Salud. Love it. And the Chai Orky from Rick and Francis. All right. Hey, come behind us, folks, so you can wave on camera because Fiesta de los Reyes is here at Market Square. Have a great